Hey yo guys, how's it going? Tally here and today um, I picked up some packs, I picked up some mail and I thought I would have a little chit chat with you guys because right now I'm kind of going through a funny time in life like it's been kind of difficult in some areas and it's been kind of amazing in some other areas and it's a very mixed bag right now and I thought I'd talk to you guys right at we're pretty friendly by this point, you know? So let's have a little chit chat. I haven't vlogged in a while and I used to vlog to talk about all my feelings and stuff and used to talk about what was on my mind with Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life, but I haven't done that in a while and that's like part of that thing that's where I'm kind of like, oh, it's a hard time recently because I haven't been making that style of content because I haven't had the time to sit down and make that style of content. So I'm going to open up these bad boys, um, just get the packs out there, we'll take a look at the promos and we'll open up this, which is kind of that will allude to a deck profile for next week. Uh, so let's just dive right in. In fact, before I dive right in, guys, first of all, you're amazing. You guys are genuinely amazing. We hit 500 subscribers last week, which isn't a huge number for some people, right? There's people out there, you know, millions and millions and millions. But the fact that there's 500 plus of you guys out there who genuinely want to watch the content is pretty amazing. I didn't think I'd get this far this year. I thought it would take me a lot longer to start to get that momentum going. But you guys have proven time and time again that Team Tally is the best, the absolute best team on YouTube. You guys are part of the, the experience for me and I'm so happy to have you guys as part of Team Tally. But of course, if you are not part of Team Tally and you would like to join, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you part of the team. Um, let's let's have a chit chat in the comments, guys. Tell me how your week's going and let's, like, let's just stop wasting time and open some packs. First things first, let's open the mail. This has been sitting here for like a day or two. Um, and I think I know what it is, I'm pretty certain I know what it is and I'm really excited. This should in fact, um, yes, got ourselves a Striker Dragon boys. This is the only card that I was still looking for. Um, in order to do a, a kind of updated Dragon Link, Crusadia Guard Dragon, I don't know, I like Crusadia Guard Dragon, I like Dragon Link on its own without the Crusadias. Yeah, but this is all it takes for me to do the next deck profile I want to do. So I might do both, honestly, I might do Crusadia Guard Dragon, I might do Guard Dragon. Links and Dragon Link without Crusadias. We'll have a wee look, but Striker Dragon's a really good card, guys, if you don't know what it does. It searches a free rocket extender, and it does rocket-based things, and it makes rockets actually work. And this is the card that kind of rockets needed ages ago to become pretty good. All right, so that's a good start. Excuse me, my voice is awfully funny. Uh, so let's let's chat, guys, right? First of all, we'll take a look at our promos. Let's talk about the kind of the, the weird, the iffy things that have gone on. In fact, let's talk about the great things. Um, so first of all, recently I've been promoted in my job, which is kind of gratifying. Like, I've been doing my job now for... I've been working for this company for six years. Uh, it got me through the end of high school, got me through uni. And when I was 17, I'm 22 now, I decided that I would, I would do the job that I have today. And it was, it's not been easy to get here. Um, and it's been really gratifying to get to this point and do the job that I'm doing just now. It's, it's training people, um, which has always been something like I've been really interested in. Like, you know, of course, the Ultimate Guide to Hero series, that's like kind of rooted in my, my desire to teach people and um, my desire to like help people get better at things. So that's been good. But let me tell you, the hard part of this is that this job is hard as balls. All right, this job is really difficult and it's not very... And it's not very fun all the time. It's a fun job, but it's not fun all the time. But you know what's fun? Like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So let's have a look. So we've got Scrap Wyvern, uh, which does some pretty nutty things. So two monsters in screw, uh, including a scrap. Target one scrap monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then destroy one card you control. Guys, this is why Scrap uh, Recycler, the, the Foolish Burial one, that's why this card, like that card got a reprint recently, because this card is really good, and it's like really good in machine decks, a la Orcist. I hate Orcist. I actually don't hate Orcist. I think it's a really balanced deck that's actually really fair to play against but like if you do something wrong against them then you immediately lose and speaking of a deck that's not too great <laughs> we've got dragon maids uh, again dragon maids are like a deck that, that could have been really cool but they, they just aren't yet i hope they get more support in the future that gets them to that point but right now they're just they're just not really there for me if you're into your scaly waifus like that's totally okay okay oh yes here's the boy <clears throat> so this guy's pretty nuts uh, it searches Gateway of the Six. Um, is it Gateway? Yeah, it searches Gateway of the Six. Uh, guys, if you don't know what Gateway of the Six does, it like gains a lot of Bushido counters and you can do like infinite loops with it, you can do loads of stuff. Uh, I'm not entirely a Six Sam player. Uh, there's Alan at Castle Comics who's a Six Sam player and I hope he's watching. 
because like this card, it's just made for him. And Brian, Big Brian, he's also a six hand player. Like I hope they can show me some really degenerate, nasty combos with this card. I'll be, I'll, I'll give to Brian a text just now actually. Okay, and next promo pack, we have got another Scrap Wyvern. Uh, yeah, so this card, like, this card fetches Scrap Wyvern from the graveyard, which isn't once per turn. I actually meant to say that a moment ago, like, it's not once per turn, so you can dump lots of things. I don't know if this card is going to see lots of competitive play, but, like, it does seem like a good extender in Orcus just now. So, hopefully, hopefully we get some, some good use out of that. Okay, guys, like, let's just dive right into the packs. So, pack number one. Uh, overall, I'm aiming for an IP. I'm aiming for some. Excuse me. I'm aiming for some good stuff. I know it's it's way more sensible to buy singles, but it's not long after payday. Got to support your locals. So let's go. Let's get some good stuff. Uh, so we've got Infinitrack, Protocol Gardener, Action Magic, Art V. I love that show. Uh, Dino Wrestler, Valenix, Marincis, and Draco Berserker of the Ten Ye for our first pack. Uh, this card's pretty nuts. Like this card is a really underrated Synchro Eight. It does a lot in the sense that. It, Kind of removes problematic cards, it doesn't negate anything which is a bit of a problem, but if your deck can make a Synchro 8, then it does a bit of removal and it's like a kind of budget borrow sword. So this card's actually a quite good, huh? that's a decent pill, I'm quite happy with that. Put you over here for the good stuff tile. So I'm looking for an IP, I'm looking for some secrets, like I just, I want, I want to pull some good stuff. Um, overall though, it's to support my locals, I don't go into packs expecting to pull good things, but I wouldn't mind pulling something with a wee bit of value behind it. Quad World Giant, Dream Mirror, uh, nothing really, because Yuki lore is actually like amazing, like the dual terminal stuff, the um, Shadows, like all that sort of lore is amazing, I I'm so, I'm so in love with it. Uh, hello, <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I tell a lie, right, uh, I've opened this three times in my life, uh, I got it, this is, pri I got this in a prize support pack from Castle Comics, like, just as Chaos Impact came out, um, and I've pulled Draco Berserker of the Tenure before, but guys, I'm okay to pull that as a secret, it's a kind of cool card, I kind of like it, I'm sure somebody's going to want it, it might see some relevant meta play later on, I don't know, above all, it just kind of looks cool, doesn't it? Duh, Sea Angel, Bye Bye Damage, Suppression Collider, Gladiator Beast, Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eye, I'll see if Dylan needs that, oh, Galactic Spiral Dragon, actually, Despite it being a common, do want that. I, I picked one up ages ago, couldn't find it. I was going to pick another one up, but I'm glad I got it here. Uh, got a gun, that's a pretty cool trade bait. But yeah, so one other thing that's been really difficult recently, but also really gratifying, is I've started running. So last Saturday, I went for, for a sparring session, um, and I got beat up. I got beat up pretty bad. I, I lost. I definitively lost it. It was, it was kind of demor uh, demoralising, and I, I didn't quite like it at all. So one thing that we realised is that I just need to push harder. I will get there, I will get to where I want to be, but it requires more work. So I've started running a mile every night, and by God, that's really difficult. Uh, but it's also really gratifying in the sense that I'm glad that I'm pushing through and I'm able to do it. And, oh, what is it? Dream Mirror Hike of Big Abiera? Okay, but yeah, so like things are, things require a lot of work, I'm finding out recently. Uh, like, like this, like YouTube requires a lot of work, my job requires a lot of work, being a better, Athlete requires a lot of work. Um, I'm not even trying to be an athlete, it's just that my coach is, is certifiably crazy and he wants me to be like the best version of me ever, which I'm really quite thankful for. Uh, Unchained Twin Rikia, Primal Congrate. This card could be kind of cool, let's keep an eye on this card. It does flippy things, it's you know, it's, it's rock support. I'm sure if we get some like really busted rock cards in the future, uh, this could in fact come into play. So we've only, got, we've only got three packs left, guys, and we've, we've pulled some okay cards. Let's look, let's get that IP Masquerina in there. I would really like to do that and not have to spend like another 25, 30 quid on that card despite buying these. Uh, da, da, da. God, um, Dream Mirrors, man. This card's kind of cool. This card might be cool with Halli Fibrax, Needle Fiber. That card might be cool with Needle Fiber coming out. Um, which, guys, as well, like that's also nuts. Needle Fiber's coming to the TCG. Uh, it's going to be totally fun, I am going to abuse it in every single deck that I possibly can. That card is going to get uh, maybe banned, uh, the Synchro Ib, 
it's going to do so much, it's going to change things up, and then we're going to immediately going to be hit with Master Rule 5, I bet you, which I think we don't really need, oh, oh no, two packs left, it's not looking, it's not looking likely, guys, oh, in fact, that, that was, that was the second last pack, this is the last pack, bless my pools, guys, bless my pools. But yeah, needle fibers coming to TCG, and that's gonna be ridiculous. That's gonna be completely and utterly mental, uh, and I'm I'm really excited for it. So we have Protocol Gardener, Burn Shell, Cauldron of the Old Man, Dream Mirror Chaos, Nebula Dragon, and oh, Evil Eye of Gor 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 Gorgonio. Oh no! Well, this card's actually quite cool in Thunders. But overall, pulled a couple of cool things, pulled a couple of fun things. Of course, this is fine. I might get some use out of this. This is trade bait, and I've got another, like, I've got a couple of copies of these, so they're, they're going in the binder. Um, I didn't plus, I didn't minus too hard though, and that's fine, like, you don't go into packs expecting to plus and minus, and we got Striker Dragon, and that, that card's just cool. So overall, guys, I am pretty happy with today. But yeah, I've kinda, I just wanted to touch on some of the things that I've been thinking about recently, that, that work is hard, being a better athlete is hard, Being a, trying to make Yu-Gi-Oh content is hard, there's lots of things about everything that's hard, but it's important to, to try and succeed the best you can. It's really important to push through those hard times, and it's really important to just kind of find your footing in things, and do things to the best of your ability, like if you do something and you do it right, and you put in the right amount of effort, you will in fact continue to, to succeed. And I think that, that kind of comes back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Like if you put some effort into Yu-Gi-Oh! If you try hard, if you um, do your best ultimately, uh, this card, I think I need that card for certain things. If you do your best, if you learn what you're doing, if you, oh, got two of them. Yeah, if you learn what you're doing, if you pay attention to what you're doing and try to succeed, you will in fact succeed more. But you've got to put in the effort, guys. So this is me, this is, this is the start of me putting in a lot of effort and let's hope it pays off. So, guys, let's take it to the outro. Okay, guys, I am well aware I have rambled incoherently for like 10 minutes. This is why I shouldn't do pack openings. Like, I go in here like totally unprepared. I um and I ah, uh, and I edit all that out because that is like 16 minutes worth of just going, mmm. But, guys, overall, um, thank you. Thank you for the support recently. Thank you for being amazing, guys. Thank you so much. It has been a stupendous year so far. We only got a good eight months out of the year, so like, think of what we could have done if I didn't take a, a long ass break last year. But guys, let me know. Do you want some extra Crusadia Guard Dragon deck profiles? Do you want some just genuine Dragon Link deck profiles? What do you want from me, guys? Do you want anything else before the end of the year? Because I'm going to Jamaica at the end of the year with a good friend of the channel, Chris. We're going to go spend a couple weeks in the sun uh, and just chilling out. We'll probably make some content while we're over there. Let me know, do you want, what content do you want me and Chris to make? Uh, just to let you know, he's an old, old, old school uh, hero fan. Like, GX heroes, you know, the good stuff, Flamewing Man and that. Uh, so let us know what you want us to do. I'm thinking of a, a couple things that we could do. But overall, guys, as always, if you liked it, give it a like. If you loved it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. As always, guys, you are, you are beyond fantastic. And I have been Tally. I'll catch you all later. Bye.